Have you ever wondered about our ancestors and the evolutionary journey from apes to humans? Let's start from the beginning with the oldest known species in our lineage, Sahelanthropus chadensis, who roamed the Earth roughly seven million years ago. Fast forward a little to about six million years ago, we find Ororin tugenensis, another early hominid species. Then we encounter a pair of noteworthy species, Ardipithecus cadaba and Ardipithecus ramidus, who graced our planet between five and a half to four million years ago. Next, we have the Australopithecus genus, starting with Australopithecus anamensis, who lived around four million years ago. This genus also includes Australopithecus afarensis, Australopithecus barrel gazali, Australopithecus africanus, and Australopithecus garhi, with each species successively appearing over the span of roughly three million years. Finally, we reach Australopithecus sediba, thought to be one of our direct ancestors who existed approximately two million years ago. These early hominids laid the groundwork for the evolution of more complex species. As we progress further along the evolutionary timeline, we encounter a variety of species, each contributing to the evolution of modern humans. Kenyanthropus platyops, existing nearly three and a half million years ago, marked an intriguing divergence with a flat face structure. We then encounter the robust Paranthropus species, including Ethiopicus, Boisei, and Robustus, thriving from about 2.7 to 1.2 million years ago. These hominids were known for their massive jaws and teeth, adapted for a diet of hard, fibrous food. The Homo genus, our own, begins with Homo habilis, the handy man, who lived around two million years ago and used tools for the first time. Homo rudolfensis, a contemporary of Habilis, and Homo erectus, the upright man, who lived until about 140,000 years ago, are believed to have developed more complex tools and behaviors. Homo ergaster, antecessor, and heidelbergensis follow in the timeline, each contributing to the evolution of our cognitive and physical capabilities. Then we meet the famous Homo neanderthalensis, or Neanderthals, who coexisted with early Homo sapiens and interbred, leaving a small percentage of their DNA in modern humans. We also encounter the diminutive Homo floresiensis and Luzonensis, and the recently discovered Homo nalidi, all contributing to our understanding of the diverse hominid family tree. And thus we arrive at Homo sapiens, the species all of us belong to today. Our evolutionary journey spanning millions of years and numerous species is a testament to the power of evolution. This incredible voyage through vast eons and a myriad of ancestors illustrates the gradual emergence of traits that define us as humans. From Sahelanthropus chadensis to Homo sapiens, we've journeyed through an intricate tapestry of evolutionary history. It's a testament to adaptation, resilience, and the awe-inspiring power of nature. Next time you look in the mirror, remember the long and intricate evolutionary journey that has led to you.